Finally, a video of wheels, lift, and tires. I hope you enjoyed this build, guys. It just took me a long time to do all this. For the detergent for runner, I got this A back or A batch, whatever it's pronounced. I think this is set up on the second perch, I believe. I'm not sure yet, but uh, they, are, they are supposed to have like 8,000 miles on them, I think, according to the previous owner. And these ones are the Allman Emu. I think they are the A91 model, the heavy duty ones, supposedly. And uh, they being used for two years, according to the previous owner, he used to run a, a tent on the top, on the roof. So I didn't think about that. I thought this was messed up you know by the weight or something but uh, a lot of people on the Tergen mafia they say this is normal so this one goes on the passenger side and this one goes on the driver side the driver side is heaviest it's heavier so the heaviest weight goes on this spring right here and they're supposed to level it up like that uh, I measure with the tape, bottom to top, and it measures like when they are brand new. So I think one is 17, I believe this is 17 inches, and this one is six and three quarters, and a little, or a little bit less, pretty close. I got four of these wheels. They are 17 by nine, minus 12 offset, and I choose them on gold. They have two options, they have gold and they have blacks. So I'm gonna be painting them. I'm gonna be plastic dipping and uh, that's gonna protect the original paint from them. Uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. This is it guys. These are the wheels of this one runner. It's gonna be wedding pretty soon, maybe in a month or so. Probably probably two months because I gotta buy a couple more things. Body leaf and another tire. And of course I need to buy the fifth wheel. I only bought four of them. You know, I'm not rich. <laughs> It's a pretty good looking wheel but as I mentioned I'm gonna be painting them and as you can see I have this other one right here already with the bolt removed because like I mentioned I'm gonna be painting them so I choose this purple stuff which is gonna look good I'm gonna be posting a picture somewhere around here so you can have an idea how they're gonna look like they look pretty good this paint look pretty good on this very skinny spokes to make it look good like that you have to use black paint that's what i mentioned before you know i should get the black ones but back then i wasn't thinking on getting you know painting them until i found a research that a guy said this is actually paint it's not power recording so if you scratch them you know you can you're gonna see the scratches on the wheel already or rim so yeah like i mentioned I'm gonna add probably three coats, three or four coats of this because this only requires two heavy coats to make it look very well. Let's see. 
Ahora vamos a contestar el segundo coat. So I just finished one can. Uh, with one can, I did two coats of black. As you can see, they are not perfect yet. I mean, these wheels, because all the spokes or blades, whatever they are called, uh, you need to detail them. Make sure that you got paint on every single corner, which it's a lot of them. And uh, yeah, they look pretty much black now but they are not perfect yet uh, I'm gonna start with this one because probably I took like five minutes you know to spray kind of detailing them now every corner so it's and, and the sun is pretty hot so I think if I start again from this side to that side uh, I think it's, it's dry enough it is dry enough so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the third coat I'm gonna do probably four coats four or five i really want these things to last me for, for a pretty good uh, time so i'm gonna make sure i add enough paint i just finished the second can and as you can see these things are pretty black so i'm gonna do another can because i mentioned i want them to last hopefully a pretty good amount of time and the purple can is requires only two coats Maximum probably three to make them look, you know, pretty decent. So this is the third coat and the third can uh, is about to be almost empty. And it look, it, it's looking pretty good. All right guys, I think it's time to add the purple one. Wish me luck. So what do you think for one coat? It's looking pretty good. It's very hard to see. This color is pretty dark. So this is the second coat. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. I'm probably gonna leave it like that and look for, you know, darker spots. It's very hard to see this color even on the sun. This is uh, one, one coat for the purple, one coat and one coat. So hopefully you can see the difference. It's very hard to see even on the sun because it's like very dark color. But so far it looks real good. I really, really like it. One barrel did like three coats on these uh, wheels, but really two coats, that's what they call for. Uh, as it's a you want to add some more, he's not going to make it stronger as you can see. It's very hard to see. Uh, hopefully, I don't have uh, black spots or something. I really spend my time looking and... But we'll see. One can and three and a half of black. So I went ahead and do one tire and one rim for right now. I mean, this thing looks really, really good. The purple is not that crazy. It blends really good with the tire. And I think it's gonna look good with this silver color. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna lift it off 
and check you know what i need to cut where and how there is videos that people show what to do but uh i want to do my own you know i don't want to do more or less than you know what i'm gonna expect so yeah that's that's why i did one so your question is you can fit 35s or almost 35 with no lift yeah they will fit but you will drop a lot there is no lift as you can see these are no stock either but they are just a bit bigger than stock those are 265 75s uh, this rim right here is minus 12 and that's the clearance in between the upper control arm but uh, once it's gonna be lift it's gonna be a lot so that's, that's just an update for whoever want to see this I'm pretty sure a lot of you want to see how things are looking like that's probably one inch same here so I'm just testing as you can see tire is flying maybe two two to three inches from the floor from the gravel to the bottom of the tire as you can see I mark kind of what I need to cut since the bumper is attached to the frame so I really really need to cut this probably some more because when the tire you know flex it's gonna go up above this so i guess i'm gonna be cutting a lot a good angle so here in the back there is not much only this right here but since you know the flex of the tire so i guess i'm gonna be cutting somewhere around here cut that is like a you know like an edge so you're gonna cut that and bend it over i turn the wheel all the way in and it has a slight drop on the chassis right there that's not an issue to me i'm just gonna be careful whenever you know i'm just not gonna do full turn it's just a little bit it is what it is guys when you lift a truck um, that's what happens you know you have rubbing and you know small issues 